Okay, so now it comes time to install Sparrow Wallet onto our computer. So just by way of diagram, we're gonna install Sparrow onto our existing PC or laptop. And then we're going to call out to this um, Electrum Rust server that we have already created uh, in the previous video. So let's head on over to sparrowwallet.com um, and you can have a look at the features and the documentation and all that sort of stuff. This is a fantastic wallet to be using. Um, so I'm just going to go over to the download section. And for me, because I'm on Linux, uh, I'm going to install um, one of the Linux packages here. So I'm going to just download that one. Okay. And then I'm going to verify the release. Um, so I'll need um, this one here. So I'm going to save this in my downloads folder and I'm going to save this one as well in my downloads folder. Now I'm going to verify um, that I have a legitimate copy of Sparrow. So I'm going to open up a terminal here and CD into my downloads folder. Uh, these are just the Linux instructions. Um, Windows and Mac will have separate um, instructions on this page as well. Uh, so I've seeded into my downloads uh, directory of the computer that I'm installing it on, not the node box. And I'm going to copy this and paste this in like so. And it'll say here, good signature from Craig Raw. So that's good. And here we can also check the checksum. So we'll open up this and paste that in and I should get an okay. And I'm now going to install this. So sudo dpackage i uh, sparrow2 and enter. And type in my password. And so now I have Sparrow Wallet. So I'm going to open up Sparrow Wallet on my system. Okay. And if you go into preferences and click on server, and edit the existing connection. You'll be able to connect to different nodes. There are some pr public servers, uh, there's Bitcoin Core, and there's also um, a private Electrum service. We're going to be connecting to our own Electrum server, uh, private Electrum server. So um, here we can type in nodebox.local and 5001 and hit test connection. So now you'll see connected to uh, nodebox.local at this block height. Okay. So now, no matter what you do here, um, when you open up a new wallet or, you know, you can, from here, you can type in, you know, whatever cold wallet you want to use. And if you want to connect a hardware wallet up um, and you can go through that process like so. So that um, basically is now all connected to your own. Um, and this toggle here down the bottom will, sh will let you know um, where you're connected to. Okay. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com.au and click on the support button. If you'd like to have one-on-one -on -one consulting, click on the consulting button and book a session on the calendar widget. And if you'd like to purchase a Bitcoin node, head on over to the shop and purchase one from shop.ministryofnodes.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.